Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. Got a good one for you today. Going to get into Campbell Hatton and Jimmy Joe Flint, James Flint. It's not a good one. This is actually a, a horrible fight. Uh, but I know some of y'all have an interest in it. It's not a whole lot of boxing this weekend. So this is what we got. You you go with what you – you work with what you got. And uh, we make money on what we got. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, Boxing Bookie comes at you every uh, every major fight. Show you how to bring down the house and consistently consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. We don't gamble, but if you do, uh, I use DraftKings. Always use DraftKings. Good odds. User friendly. Um, you can't use DraftKings in Texas, but uh, if you do gamble, I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Also, join the Patreon. The Patreon is just five dollars a month. You get the lock of the week. You get a ton of other perks. You can ask, ask me anything. I'll handicap any fight for you. you. Get a free T-shirt, scouting report, whatever you want. It's just five dollars a month. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. In the description, it allows me to do this full time. All right, guys, let me get into and also uh, Texas boxing scene. Um, Please join the other channel. Subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right. Let's get into this, this fight. Um, we're not really going to break down a, a less fun fight than this. Um, this is two guys I don't think highly of at all. I don't even think these are, you know, British level fighters. I, I just think these are two poor fighters, and I, I want to put that out there first. Campbell Hatton. It's a good thing Ricky didn't give him his namesake, right? It's a good thing Ricky didn't name him Junior. This is no Ricky Hatton Junior. Now Ricky Hatton Campbell is is not. Uh, he should have picked a different profession. It ain't, this ain't this ain't it for him. He's aggressive. He comes forward. He gets tagged coming in, and, and, and so does Flynn. Um, what I do like about Hatton is he got really good timing with his hooks. You can see that there's some boxing pedigree to him, right? He's just I put it together. He comes in wide. He's, he, he can easily counter him. But when he does land his lead hook, it, it, it's nice. He's just so easy to hit. He doesn't jab enough. He, he likes the lead. He goes first, but he doesn't jab his way in. He just throws shots, and they're not particularly accurate. It doesn't seem – he's got more power than Flint, it appears, although Flint got a nice little 10th-round stoppage. Um, but he's not a big hitter. He's not his dad. He's, he's not going to crush you. Um, he's slow, but he's got a good gas tank. He, he, you can tell he, he takes the steps. Like, he, 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 he comes in prepared. He's not Chavez Jr. He's not, you know, a lazy bump. He – He's trying to do this. He's just not particularly good at it. He comes in face first. Like I said, he's so easy to tag. He doesn't jab. Him. There's so many flaws. If he just jabbed his way in, this would be an easy fight for him. Because you can push Flint backwards. But he doesn't do it. So he's going to make this life more difficult for himself by simply not jabbing. That is my biggest. This, I got a ton of knocks on him. But if Ricky Hatton was just jab or just work his jab. Don't lunge in. Don't jump in with power strikes. Work your jab. Get inside. Force people backwards and then work on the inside. He'd be so much better. But he doesn't do that. And like He's not going to become a jabber overnight, I don't think. So this is going to be a difficult fight for him. If he, if he jabbed, if he set things up off the jab and opened up off the jab, life would be much easier for him. He still wouldn't be a world-class fighter, but you know, life would be easier for him in this fight. James Flint, Jimmy Joe Flint, whatever y'all want to call him, is not good either. He's got a decent record. Is he 13-1 with a draw, I think. And he's got – he's not good, okay? I don't even know how to describe him as a fighter. There's nothing he does well. He can be pushed back easily, right? Like, he's a fighter. He likes to be a little bouncy. He likes to be in a rhythm. He likes to – but he's not really athletic. He's not – he's kind of slow. He's not a hitter. I, I don't really even know how he's I – mean, he must have 
13 bunnies on his record have gotten these wins. I'm not trying to rip these guys apart, but Jimmy Joe Flynn is not a good fighter. He, like I said, he, you can push him backwards. He doesn't fight well off the back foot, but he's willing to fight off the back foot all day. He's not good at it. When, when he's having his success, he's actually coming forward and throwing a combination. But he'll show up and, and not throw, and then you can push him backwards. And I think that's the way this is going to go. Hatton is going to it's going to bully him, and he doesn't need to, right? Like, he's, he's too willing to go backwards. You watch Flint. He doesn't have great head movement. He's not very elusive, but he wants to be off the back foot moving. It's like this is not – he needs to establish himself, but he's not a hitter. Hatton's a big a hitter. Uh, neither guy is particularly skilled on the inside. I do think Flint is a little more fundamentally sound. I think he throws better combinations when he does. But he doesn't do it enough, and he's so easy to get him out of what he does well or better. He's a basic one-two guy. Sometimes he'll lead with a three, right? Sometimes he'll mix in a three. He, he doesn't waste a lot, a lot of gas, which is what I like. So he's got, you know, he can he can go rounds. It's like I don't really see how he can win rounds. Like it's it's not easy to stop him necessarily. Right, he's not gonna. He's not gonna shoot his load. He, he doesn't come out super aggressive. Stylistically, he's okay. He just doesn't really. He can't really execute it. He's he's a decent counter puncher. Like when he when he he's got this little left hook that he can land and he can counter. This is not this. A lot of arm punches is really what I noticed. So there's no there's no snap on his punches. He's not quick, although like he wants to fight like a fighter who's quick. He doesn't really have an identity. I don't really see this going well. I, I think this is going to be an ugly fight. I think this is going to be, you know, a borderline wrestling match where, he, you know, Hatton gets him up in the ropes and lands something so he wins the rounds. Um, but let's get into how to make money on this. All right, y'all, y'all got this? Yeah. So the, the bet is easy. I kind of like the over, but I'm not going to put anything on it at minus 330. I just don't like the odds because I think Hatton might stop him. Oh, I think that's actually a better bet, but I, my, my, my bet is Hatton on points. Okay, so we're, we're, all we're going to do, easy bet, one times bet, Ricky Hatton. Makes it 45-45. All right, it's minus 220. I think those are reasonable odds. I definitely think Hatton wins this fight in an ugly fight. I, I don't really like either of these fighters. I like him on points, but I don't like the over-under at minus 330. If you wanted to get cute, you could do this. But again, there's a chance Hatton could stop him. So I, I wouldn't advise this, right? Like a little half bet on 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 Hatton by technical decision. It's not a terrible, uh, by, by decision, it's not a terrible bet. It's a little cute. Um, if you wanted to do this, you know, it's, you're basically covering yourself. I'm just doing Hatton um, minus 220 on the money line. If you want to take Hatton by decision, I like the odds on it. I, a little half bet. You, know, you basically made fifty if this hits, and then if you put fifty, that money. You know what I'm saying? You could, you could work it this way. Two, don't not not a parlay, just two individual bets. Like I, I think this works. I'm just my bet officially to you is hat on the money line. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, 3D boxing comes at you for every major fight. The boxing book is just to bring down the house, consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. There's always a bull market somewhere. We bring it to you. There's always a way to make money betting on the sport of boxing. No one else can do it like me. My record speaks for itself. Join the Patreon. Get the lock of the week. Get all the perks. Ask me anything. Get the handy, Get me to handicap any fight you want. It's just $5 a month, but you make way more than that, obviously, when you get my lock of the week. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, it is March 21st, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. 
Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.